Shanan and Wicket worked all night to prepare for their comeback in the company. The next morning, Mirin and Aes arrived, ready to work together to help both Wicket and Shanan. They planned to prepare everything as they anticipate Tanya's action. After their work, the sweetness between Wicket and Mirin naturally flows, and Aes and Shanan start to tease them. At the hospital, Soipit takes care of Prapup, and she blames herself for what is going on in the company. If not for her greed, all this would not happen. Prapup tells Soipit that he too, is to blame for what is happening. But as a family, they still need each other now. Then, Shanon and Wicket came and told Prapup that everything was under their control. They are now ready to face Tanya and claim the company back. At the company, the client started to protest and call out Shanon and Tanya for the compensation they had promised them. Tanya holds a meeting with the board members, urging them to vote for her as the CEO in order for her to take action regarding the compensation, since Shanon is not present right now. As the board members raise their hands to vote for Tanya, Shanon, and Wicket, they hold a press conference. They apologize to everyone for the late action in relation to the compensation to the affected clients. They also reveal who is behind the leaked information. Shanon confesses that it all happened under his management. Tanya orders the two programmers of the company to leak the client's information to make Shanon the CEO. They already sent the evidence to the police for investigation. At the hospital, Prapup is very proud as he watches the press conference on TV. On the other hand, Tanya is questioned by the board members about whether it is true, but she can't give them an answer. She quickly asks her father for help, but her father orders her to face the consequences of her actions. One month later, the company returns to its reputable position as they were cleared of wrongdoing. Mirin baked a cake for Wicket and Shanon as a celebration of what they did. Then, Soipit walks in and asks them what they are doing. Mirin gives her a cake she baked. As the meeting begins, Prapup announces that he will appoint a new CEO of the company. Both Shanon and Wicket point fingers at each other about who they want to be the CEO, but Prapup appoints Soipit as the new CEO. He thinks Soipit deserves it, and everyone agrees to it. At the CEO's office, Prapup informs Soipit that he wants Nira Ampan to be part of their family again. Soipit agrees to it saying that she has done Nira Ampan bad deeds before and needs her forgiveness. Meanwhile, Wicket and Mirin drink hot chocolate in Wicket's office. When a smudge of chocolate is left on Mirin's lips, Wicket tries to remove it, but ends up kissing her. Mirin kisses her back, but they were startled when someone entered the room. It is Soipit. She wants to talk with Wicket. She asks for Wicket's forgiveness regarding her treatment of Nira Ampan before. She informs him that Prapup wants Nira Ampan to be part of the family again. Wicket gladly agrees with Soipit. Wicket then, takes Mirin home. Big Noy is at Mirin's home, chatting with her mother and grandmother. They are having dinner together when, out of the blue, Big Noy asks Wicket about his plans to marry Mirin. As Mirin walks Wicket to his car, he tells her that he is thinking about their marriage. Mirin tells her that they should work hard to save money for their wedding. The next day, Wicket takes Nira Ampan to Prapip and Soifit. Even though Nira Ampan can't remember anything, as long as Wicket is by her side, she is okay with it. Soifit immediately asks for forgiveness from Nira Ampan, and then Prapip invites them to have a meal together. Everything went well, and Soifit returned the pin her late brother gave Nira Ampan before. And then Wicket requested something from her mother. Wicket takes Mirin to the amusement park in front of the merry-go-round. When asked by Mirin why he takes her there, Wicket answers that his place holds a lot of memories for him. This place is important to most of his unforgettable moments. They went in the merry-go-round, and Wicket revealed the engagement ring his father gave to his mother before. While riding the merry-go-round, Mirin wants Wicket to ask her the proper question while holding the engagement ring. Then Wicket asks Mirin if he will marry him. Mirin is sure that Wicket didn't read the letter she wrote in his journal before. Wicket then takes out the notebook and reads Mirin's letter to him. She wrote her feelings to Wicket in his journal. So it means she accepts Wicket's marriage proposal. Last but not least, Wicket puts the ring on Mirin's finger, and then they seal their promise to each other with a heartwarming kiss.